Hi and welcome to my channel. It's me, Tina. I am here to uh, share with you a mat that I found uh, that work, works really well with my die cutting machine and it replaces the um, cutting plates for your um, your cutting machine die cutting machines um, they like mine always warped um, cracked and they're very expensive I think it's like twenty dollars for two of these and they just do not last very long for me so um, I heard about these magic mats and I ordered two of them so far I've only been using one um, I use it with my um, this is the magnetic plate on the bottom that I have here for my Sizzix Big Kick and then I uh, use this um, metal plate and you kind of have to play around with the sandwiches to get it right but this is the way I use it um, then I put down my paper and this is a die cut that I got from uh, Timu it is a tag and then it has two little pockets and then this one covers the little pockets and I'll show you how to put these together um, I'll just cut that one out and I'll show you how nicely it the die cut cuts and also how the magic mat works and then um, at the end I'll, I have another another die cut that I want to show you after this from Timu and then I will show you how to flatten this out so here is my card for that one and then I keep my scraps for something else actually I was gonna oh it doesn't really matter but you know you always have these sheets that have the words on it and if you you know if you know that you're gonna cover it anyway um you can just um use like your um use one of these that you're gonna cover up anyway I don't even know what I'm saying but anyway you know what I mean like this one yeah, I like the colors on there but I'm not gonna use the words so I'm just gonna use that as the back tag which is this one I had planned it out here I was gonna use that one as the back one and then I didn't so here's another one and it did cut out that little hole there and this one has like for the ribbon notch there and then um, for the little pockets I'm going to use I'm just gonna grab another paper here this one that I was gonna originally use use that now you can fill your whole um, area here you know with die cuts that you don't have to run it through so many times but um, just for the video here I'll just use this and you can see two passes and it cuts beautifully okay so I have these two cut out here now I'm just gonna do these little pockets and the way I do the pockets is because I know I'm gonna do two of them and so I'm just gonna put it on here double my paper there and that way I only have to run it through once I don't have to do it twice because I know I want two of those pockets and it really doesn't matter what side um, I use it on because both sides are the same and just run it through a couple of times there we go and here's our little pockets there we go and then that is that one so now I wanted to show you another die cut that I got from Timu and it is these little 
this little pocket and um, I will put it together for you. So I'm just going to put that one there, this one here. So I'm doing two pockets at once here. I'm going to run it through. And you can see it just runs through like butter. Like it doesn't make all those. Uh, well, yeah, it does make some noises, of course. But compared to the other shim uh, shims that I usually use, the plates, this does not make as many noise. And look at that. It cuts out those little holes and everything beautifully. So here's my two pockets. I'm going to do two more. I'm going to clean this off. So I'm going to use this one. This one here. And I don't want the flowers on that one. Actually, I'm going to use put that one right here and then I want the flowers right here on this one and this will be the outside pocket Whoop. and just run that through quickly and then I'll get to um, putting them together I'm just going to put you on pause and remove everything and then I'll put these together. Okay, so now I've cut these out and I will show you how to put them together. So you have your bottom tag here and these are the little pockets. Um, let me get out my ink and just ink them up so you can maybe see them a little better. Just where the little pockets are and some people like inking some people don't it's really up to you so we'll just put that there and put glue on three sides and then you have your two little pockets There we go. Just glue them on here and you can do them as high or as low as you want. Oh, I guess that happy kind of is peeking through there, but that's okay. We'll put little tags in there. And then for these ones, you just put the them on the little pockets here like this as decoration and then you can decorate and layer some more if you like so that is that one look how pretty that is and then you can add little tags there you could even keep these top ones open um, I'll show you another version that I did so there's two versions that I did right there and then I will show you how you put this one together this one um, comes with little um, uh, what do you call it little um, hmm, little folds that you can bend over and then you glue them into your journal or card or whatever you have this way you put glue on here and you stick it down and then I'm just going to ink these up so you can see them better and you can do any color of ink you could do pink you could do black and these are really pretty I love these so there's that one so it's got four pockets and then you just put some glue here and glue that down like so 
and the next one. And you could do them all the same color. I don't see why not. That would be pretty too. So just always kind of, um, I leave a little border there. And this one, the reason I wanted the flowers flower there is because that comes on the outside. And then you can add little tags in there. Isn't that cute? I love that. So there's that one. And I'll show you another version that I did with this one. So these are the two that I made with these. And yeah, the, they have little pockets. Uh, let's show you here. So there's a pocket here, a pocket there, and a pocket there. So those are those ones. And then I have one more that I cut to show you um, that I got at Timu. And it is this one. Um, it consists of three pieces. It's the, the bottom layer, and the next layer has... The three pockets and then it has a little label here and this is what it looks like when it's all finished so I think that is so pretty and now I will show you how um, what I do to get this see this mat is magic mat is kind of warped you can see the the bumps on it I'm not sure if you can see that it's not bad yet, but we, what you do is you just take your, your heat tool and you just heat it up. So I'm going to turn you on pause again and show you once I've heated it up and how flat it goes. Oops. So as you see, I've got it warmed up and... Um, I'm just turning it over and turning it over just to, to flatten it out. It doesn't take long once you've got your heat got the heat tool nice and hot. And yeah, just wherever it's kind of sticking up, take your heat tool and just heat it up. And it goes nice and flat. Just careful, don't burn yourself. See, look at that. And it gets rid of all those little marks there. Now, I don't know if these last forever. I've only had mine probably a year, and this is what it looks like. Like, to me, it basically looks like brand new. <clears throat> so, yeah, I could still keep going, but, you know, I'm happy with this. It's hot. Like, it's not hot so that I can't touch it, but just kind of smooth it out. And, uh, yeah, you have a brand new heat pad or a brand new thing again and you cannot you cannot do that with these they yeah you can do it a, to a degree but then see this one's not even that warped and it just cracked and it's starting to crack here too so yeah for the same amount of money you can get two of these or two of these that you know will only last you a little while so I hope you like my video and I will link these um, dies in the description box below if they're still available. I will try to find these for you, the magic mat at scrapbook.com. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye.